Hey guys, Hackisploit here, back again with another video and in this video we're going to be looking at how to install a desktop environment onto the Windows subsystem for Linux, uh, more specifically the Kali Linux uh, edition of the Windows subsystem for Linux. So we had already discussed in the installation video about the advantages that, that this could have given the fact that it's running on a subsystem and it's not really, uh, it doesn't have to do with virtualization. So one of the advantages we had talked about uh, when setting up the Windows subsystem for Linux is the fact that it will run on the host operating system with the same system resources, which means that you would have the same and you can use a maximum amount of resources that your computer does have and uh, when I when I put this in comparison to pen test box you this is where you can really see the advantages and disadvantages uh, for for each and both of them so in this video we're going to be focusing on installing F XFCE the XFCE desktop environment on the Windows subsystem for Linux now I just want to throw out that this is still in testing, which means it will work, but it has a few issues and you might experience uh, some glitches from time to put, uh, from time, from time to time. Sorry about that. Uh, that being said, it's really very, very easy to get set up. And, uh, I'm guessing you already have your Kali Linux, uh, installed on your Windows subsystem for Linux. So, uh, you know, just make sure you're running the latest version and you can do this by typing the cat issue command and there you are I'm running the uh, Kali Linux uh, rolling edition which means it's running the latest version and make sure you update your packages of course you might want to try and update them once you've installed the desktop environment now before we get started with installing the desktop environment I just want to uh, make you I just want to make sure you understand uh, that the desktop environment cannot be launched within Windows, all right? So again, as I said, it's not virtualization. However, uh, Kali actually found out that, you know, one of the easiest ways to connect to it was either through SSH, but that would be through another computer. But again, what would one do if one, if the computer does have a desktop, uh, have a desktop environment, is you would connect through it through a remote desktop connection which is what they've been able to do using the XRDP, which is an open source uh, remote desktop connection that is commonly found on, on Linux, more specifically Kali Linux. So it's pre-included and that means you can connect to Kali Linux, you know, using the remote desktop connection, given the fact that you've started the XRDP server on the Kali Linux operating system. That being said, we're going to be replicating the same thing here. So what we're going to start off with is we need to get the XFCE desktop environment script. All right, so this can be found, um, uh, as you can see, I already have mine installed. Uh, this can be got using the wget command. So wget, and we use the following URL. I'll be putting the, uh, the URL in the description. So HTTPS, and uh, we are using the Kali dot shell or dot script and we use the x uh, xfce4 so it's using xfce4 uh, dot uh, the executable file and just hit wget and it'll download the file now i already have mine downloaded so i can list the file here and there you are so i might want to change permissions so chmod plus x and uh, we're going to use the xfce uh, like so just to make sure that i can uh, execute it there we are so now we can execute it so i'm going to run the sudo and the xfce uh, dot bash file and it's going to ask me for my root password so make sure you enter your password and it's going to start installing xfce4 now this is going to take a while of course dependent on your internet connection and uh, again it's going to take a while because it's installing a desktop environment so i'm going to let this complete and i'm going to get back to you when it's done so i'll see you then All right, so it's finally done after a long, long while. I think it took about 30 to 40 minutes to set up. And of course, it's some of it had to do with my internet connection. But that being said, it's going to take a while. And uh, what you'll get here now is you can see it's going to tell you that it's configuring XRDP to listen on port 3390. That's exactly what you want. But it's going to tell you that it's not going to start the XRDP service. So that's the first thing we want to do is let me just clear this up. And to start it, you can use your service xrdp xrdp start or you can do it the correct way which a lot of you guys have been asking me is how to start it with the initialize script so to do this use the etsy folder or etc depending on what how you want to call it uh and we want to use the xrdp um start i believe yes uh, and it's gonna ask me for my password i'm gonna hit enter and there you are. All right. So now it started the XRDP server, DP server on port 3390 on local host. Okay. 
and now we need to use the remote desktop connection so remote desktop connection i'm going to open that up and uh, uh, right now i'm just going to use the localhost 127.0.0.1 and we use the port 3390 remember how to specify ports and i'm going to hit connect all right and give it a few seconds to connect and yes we want to allow connections and there we are so now you need to prompt your you need to enter your your Kali Linux username and password which we set I set Alexis and I had my password here I'm gonna hit OK and it should log me in into Kali Linux now with the XFCE desktop environment so give it a few seconds and there you are so uh, it's gonna ask you to set up your panel if you're familiar with the XFCE you know that you can create your own panels but I'm just gonna use the default configuration panel panel and it's gonna open up the default panel here and uh, voila welcome to Kali Linux on Windows using the Windows subsystem for Linux uh, running XFCE. Now again, this is running in remote desktop, which means it is going to be a bit laggy because you're not actually using the, uh, the desktop environment. You're using it remotely using uh, remote host, even though it's being hosted on the same computer. So if we run the terminal here, you can see that all the commands work really well. If I try and run a command like htop, all the utilities that are installed currently exist and again as i said it's going to be slow depending on obviously your the speed of your internet uh if it's good it may slow it may reduce the um the, the slowdown but uh, as you can see the great thing that i'm talking about and the reason why i'm making these types of videos now is to show you that the different ways you can set up a penetration testing environment even on windows so we've talked about pen test box which is something i'm going to elaborate further on in the future but i think one video that i will make is i'm going to make a comparison uh, of virtualization pen test box and uh, the windows subsystem for linux using kali linux so you can see that the great thing is it's going to use all your your host system uh your, your host uh resources which means if i have eight gigabytes of ram it's going to use eight gigabytes if i have four processes it's going to use them all so it's running on the performance uh, of the host so that's really really awesome and uh, you can go ahead and perform your commands or install all the packages you can uh, actually I haven't installed any packages yet but we'll be looking at how to set it up and uh, maybe furthermore running it from a different computer we'll be looking at all of that uh, that being said that is how to set up uh, the xfc desktop environment on the windows subsystem for linux using kali linux uh, so you might be asking how do i exit from this well the correct way to exit from this is just to log out uh, like so and uh, just let let this log out uh, for some reason I didn't click that correctly yes so I'm going to log out and once it's logged out I'm just going to hit I'm just going to close the remote desktop connection and now instead of running start I'm going to stop the service like so and there you are X, XRDP has been stopped and we are still logged in into our uh, into our um, our Kali Linux operating system here uh, the on the Windows subsystem for Linux. That being said, that's going to be it for this video. If you found value in this video or you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website and I'll be sure to answer them there. Thank you so much for watching guys and as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.